Hey, true believer, it's Englantine here, and I'd like to compose a letter to Mark Wade and his followers, especially people like Susan Auger, who believe that this entire group is nothing but hatred and the mistakes that they make. And the biggest mistake here is to think that it is all about diversity and comics. He isn't even the best in our group. That'd be Doug Ernst. DNC, he just has the most subs. However, we get told that we're minions all the time. We follow whatever he says. No, we actually have our own minds. However, we all have collective concerns. There are many people tired of identity politics brought into the hobby. They serve no one. And they only create a feeling of otherness by separating readers into tinier and tinier groups. You can only read this. This can only be written by him. They're the same, so they have to be over there. I said in a video I made, everyone is welcome. This community has always been accepting. It has always been inclusive. But if you come in, please leave your identity politics and hate outside because that's what it brings. It brings hate. If you feel that you are an other, then you hate everybody who is not a, just like you. We do not want it here, nor do we need it. For proof of the hatred, just read the vile comments that come from Susan Auger. There is no need for that. The people willing to hunt down convention goers for Mark Wade, the ones that volunteered so quickly. So what if what if diversity in comics or any of his friends didn't want to go? What would they do? How far are they willing to go to fulfill Mark Wade's con uh, uh, request? Now, I would like to congratulate everybody who grew up in a time where our culture is accepted. You know, from basically, if you grew up thanks to the Iron Man movies or, or the move, Marvel movies from Iron Man on up, you lived in a different time. It's more accepted now. It used to be that we were bullied or that the bullied were the ones who would gravitate into our culture. But yes, you could be bullied for just liking comics or Dungeons and Dragons or science fiction. But this was where we found solace. This is where we found strength or strength of character in the pages of a good comic book. Something that moved us. Maybe it was our only place we could go where we could feel accepted and normal. So don't tell me these are just fictional characters. We know that there are fictional characters, but they do, that does not mean that they do not mean more to us than they would somebody who isn't at attached to the hobby. To some people, this is their only escape. To some people, they were peace of mind. Now, I understand hiring from outside of the hobby, and sometimes that can be a good thing. It can provide a fresh take when well done, and if done poorly... Well, it produces Modern Marvel Comics, a company whose second-in-command said that an angry fan is an engaged one and buys comics. Yet the problem with that is an angry fan gets tired of being angry and becomes apathetic. And that's a fan that doesn't care anymore. They walk away. Now, I do my best on this channel to tell people that there are still reasons to read Marvel Comics. There are some good titles out there, and I always... Uh, espouse the, the highlights, Thanos and Iron Fist. Yet it's getting harder and harder to keep anyone convinced because of things like Mark Wade saying, oh, I have to see this person. Or Susan Auger claiming that anybody who disagrees with her politics is a hater and a troll and anything she can use to dehumanize us so if any kind of violence does happen to us it's accepted why not we're not human we're trolls we're not readers we're trolls we're not real comic book readers how could we be because we don't accept everything they say comic books used to be a medium where Fan interaction with the, the creators was a welcome thing. Write a letter. You don't like it, write a letter. You like it, write a letter. It was supposed to be something good. Now some are dismissed. We're trolls. Go get them. 
Now, the problem here is this message may be taken as being about race or about sexism. It, it, that's the way it is. I say something against Susan Auger, that means I hate all women. That is the way we are perceived these days. But it's not. Let's get that out of the way. I don't hate all women. I don't even hate Susan Auger. I just think she's misinformed, and uh, she needs to find a compass. She needs to find a moral compass. This is about a company, a company that has begun to insult and threaten rather than engage. A company of creators that push away rather than say, hey, come on in. Let me hear your concerns. Maybe we can address them. Instead of yelling and screaming, how about say, hey, I am sorry you didn't like the story. Hopefully you will the next one. But nope. They've forgotten that they do not own the characters. They're just the caretakers. And many have broken the number one rule, do no harm. Hulk killed Hawkeye. That harmed both characters. That made Hawkeye a murderer, and that took Bruce Banner out of the picture. The original intentions, from what I understand, of Secret Empire was to have Steve become a villain and for Sam Wilson to take over the role of Captain America on a permanent basis. That harms both characters. That harms Sam Wilson, the first African-American superhero, and yes, the first African-American superhero, before anybody says it, Black Panther is not from America. And he's not even the first black stu superhero. That would be Lion Man from all Negro comics in 1947. But that's neither here nor there. It ha harms Falcon by taking away his identity. And it harms Simon and Kirby's biggest creation, Captain America, in the year of, of Jack Kirby's centennial. That is Marvel's legacy right there. Thankfully, cooler heads prevailed. But these are real concerns vocalized by our group here. So I ask Mark Wade, Susan Auger, and everybody who would be on, quote, that side, unquote, that you do not project your hatred onto us. If you cannot relate to Kamala Khan as anything but a Muslim, do not project that onto us. If we don't like a writer because of the writing, and you say, hey, you hate women. No, that's you. That's not us. So do not project your hatred onto us. Now, you are welcome to join this group in debate any time. Or if you would like to celebrate this wonderful hobby of ours, come on in. Just leave your hatred outside. Hey, true believers, thank you very much if you made it this far into the video. I appreciate you uh, listening to me rant, and I understand that basically this is us getting off the boat, or at least me, uh, joining into the fray. Now, I will never go on the attack, but if something is said, I will respond. And I've still got more of this to talk about because there are things that has, have not been handled. However, we are going to get back into alignment so to speak and uh, get back to telling why we love comics i mean it's the title of the the youtube channel for cripe's sake but if you do like videos like these or the like the ones we usually make please let us know in the comments below what you thought about this the whole situation also if you like this video click like share subscribe to see more don't forget to hit that notification bell and please head on over to patreon or to vid me, drop a dollar into the till. We do have patron-only content. And uh, we got something special as far as that is coming up. And I think everybody's going to love it. I think we'll even drop a little bit into uh, YouTube just to hook everybody. That, but good things are coming. Anyway, once again, thank you very much for taking your time out to watch our videos. <laughs> Dios cuando el lobo de nuestra codera. Dios cuando el lobo de nuestra codera. Riu, riu, shiu, la guada rivera.